Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're gonna be talking about some articulation. You're probably wondering, why am I on camera if we're talking about articulation? Well, the best way to show you how articulation should work on an action figure, for something basic like this anyway, is to show you in real life how it works. Now, I did mention doing articulation explanation video. That's a good one, articulation explan. I think I'm gonna use that. I mentioned this in a video not that long ago and everybody said, literally everybody, by the way, all of the people said, all of the buddies said, do videos about articulation. That would be great, let's talk about the engineering. So, I'm gonna do that. Uh, a lot of people are telling me to do it all in one video. There's way too much to talk about in one video. So we're gonna break it up into little tiny chunks. This one, we're gonna talk about wrist articulation. And the reason we're gonna do that one first is because it's come up in a few different videos recently. Some people are talking about uh, different angles of joints and how they should be done. And I'm gonna to explain to you which ones actually work and which ones don't, okay? I've got some props here. These are all props. None of these are actual uh, accessories for real life people. They are definitely 100% not real and are definitely props. Uh, and I'll be going over the different things and how they work in a second, but first, let's talk about wrist articulation. You guys are very familiar with the ball hinge where it swivels here, it swivels here, and then there's a hinge. That's obviously the most useful. You can pose the wrist in any angle you want and that's wonderful, so we don't have to talk about that. It works. No matter what you want to do with it, it works as long as it's made well, meaning there's enough room, okay? We don't need to go over that. Same thing with a ball peg. Now, ball pegs or double ball pegs for wrists tend to get gappy, but again, they always work. You can always get them in the pose you want to get things in as long as they're not made terribly. So we don't really have to talk about that. So what we're going to talk about is your standard uh, insert molded or even pinned hinge in a wrist, which means there's a swivel in here where it pegs into the forearm and then there's a pin in here or it's just molded in so you have a hinge in one direction okay a single directional hinge in a wrist now before we get into it just a little bit more i want to say one more thing the hinge has to be in this part of the joint if it's in this part of the joint it's useless but we're only talking about joints that are actually useful which would be the hinge in this part of the hand if it's in the wrist it doesn't do any good okay all right so these hinges are most commonly found in Marvel Legends or Figma. They usually use pins, but still you get the idea. So these hinges are useful for essentially gripping hands, trigger finger hands, things like that. Sure, you can put them in fists and other things, but that's all dependent on what you want to do with the pose. But we're going to talk about as far as weapons go, because, or I mean props or accessories go, uh, because that's usually when people are going to care the most. A fist hand doesn't need to hinge as much, so it doesn't matter as much. All right, so we're going to start with the most basic of things. So let's say we have something like a knife. Okay, lots of action figures come with knives or blades of some variety, but they almost always have a horizontal hinge. That doesn't do you any good. You're never going to be using a hinge in that direction using a weapon like this. You're going to be holding it like this, or like this, or like this. You always want it to have the vertical hinge for a bladed weapon. It's never practical to go this way. Okay, that's pretty basic. I guess My guess is most people understand that. But what about a longer bladed weapon? Would that make a difference? Probably not. In real life, no matter what you're using, you're probably not going to need to go like this. Okay? It just doesn't... Like, what are you doing? What are you accomplishing with that joint? You want to go like this. A chopping, a swinging, a slicing motion. Now, I know what some people are thinking. When you swing something like this, your wrist has to roll, like you're swinging a baseball bat or a golf club. And yes, that's true in real life, but we're talking about action figures and we've already decided we're not talking about ball hinges, which would accomplish that. We're only talking about the swivel hinge, so we have to pick what's most useful. It's this. It's always this. This doesn't help when you're posing an action figure, okay? So now we've covered the bladed, bladed edged weapons. Let's move on to what I would say is probably even more common. And these are the uh, hands that would require a trigger finger. So these are props that would require that kind of posability. I can't get that snap on there, but that's fine. So we're gonna start with something basic, okay? And just to make sure everybody's safe, the props are totally not dangerous they're perfectly fine so here we have our standard non melee type weapon for an action figure and a lot of people like to say you can use this kind of hinge for this but i'm going to show you something that's going to be very very apparent very quickly look at the angle of my wrist 
it's bent this way. It has a vertical hinge, not a horizontal hinge. A horizontal hinge doesn't do any good. No matter what you do with this, it's gonna be like this. So if you're holding it like this, you still have that bend in the vertical direction. Even if you put your arms straight out, if anything, there's still a little bit of a bend in the vertical direction. There's never any significant amount of horizontal hinge, okay? Now, some people have been saying recently that for the secondary hand, you wanna have the horizontal hinge because it supports the weapon. That's also incorrect, because I'm gonna show you, it does the same thing as the other hand. Make sure it's on camera, yeah. It does the same thing as the other hand. Almost always, especially for a single gripped prop, okay? There's always that angle. It never, ever, ever is this, okay? So that works for that. Now what about something a little bit different but still fairly common? Okay, so a lot of Deadpool figures come with things like this. And so we're gonna talk about this as well. This part, obviously pretty much the same. You always have the hinge going in the vertical direction. It's never going like this. If you're doing something like this, you're doing it wrong. Okay, now this hand, secondary hand, again, which hinge is better, vertical or horizontal? What does it look like? You can't really tell, so we'll do it on this side. Look again, vertical hinge. Horizontal hinge wouldn't do me any good. My hand isn't gonna hit that properly. You have to have this, and then you can rotate that, and it comes in perfectly. So vertical hinge, rotated on the peg, comes in perfectly. Never, ever, ever do we use a horizontal hinge for weapons. And we'll do one last one because this is the argument somebody made recently. I think it was on the roadblock. Was it roadblock or was it the Cobra Trooper? Either way, somebody made the argument that for the secondary hand, it needs to have the horizontal hinge. And I'm gonna show you again, that's not the case. Okay. Everybody's safe, our props are totally safe, okay? So, this hand again, it's always the same thing, essentially vertical hinge, never horizontal hinge. Now with this, what kind of hinge do we want? You tell me. You can see it right there, I don't even have to move anything. It's a vertical hinge again. There's no horizontal movement in that. What if we hold it like this? It kind of looks like a horizontal hinge, but I'm just gonna set it up here. <laughs> That'll work. But if I don't have the actual vertical hinge in there, I couldn't grab it. So what you do again, just like on this one, vertical hinge and then rotate it and you have it right where you want it, at least as far as practical use would be concerned. In an action figure, again, the ball hinge or ball peg is gonna give you the most versatility and you can do combinations of the vertical and the horizontal hinge. However, when you are limited to only one hinge, it's always gonna be vertical, 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 and vertical. No matter what you do, it's gonna be vertical. Even if you wanted to take this and swing it like that, vertical. It's always a vertical hinge. I don't understand why these companies keep doing this with the horizontal hinges. I've made it very clear now, with every type of, every variety of prop, whether it's a melee weapon or a weapon that's for greater distances, vertical hinges are necessary for proper posing. Horizontal hinges are useless. So hopefully that explains it. I think that's probably good enough. And, and hopefully the props don't get YouTube, don't make YouTube kick my video off of YouTube. We'll see. I don't think they will, but they might. But anyway, hopefully that was informative for you guys. If you wanna talk about other articulation for other ones, I'll talk more about the actual engineering, but this is a very basic joint, and I thought it would be more useful to show it in practice rather than just showing it on a figure. Like I can show you a torso joint and show you how it moves better, but for a wrist, I can't really demonstrate that without showing you the real life application. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know what you guys thought about the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't, and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. That would be fun for me. I don't think we'll have props for any of the future ones, but maybe we will. Who knows, it depends what the articulation is. But again, uh, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down and subscribe if you haven't. I have new videos out almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.